guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to be taking a closer look at some of those Amazon designer dupes that I have been seeing all over see how the quality is see if they're really even worth the dupe price so if you're interested stick around and don't forget if you enjoy the video like subscribe hit the bell you know what to do thanks okay well one of my girlfriends just happens to have the original designer bag and so she also ordered the dupe so I have both of the bags. She was nice enough to let me borrow. Hold on one second. Let's see if you can tell which one is the designer and which one is the fake. Okay, I have both of the bags here. We have bag A. And we have bag B. Which one of these bags do you think is the original? Well, this is the original. This she purchased on Amazon for, I want to say, $119. She let me borrow all the things that came with the bag. It did come with this little zipper pouch. And it also came with the bag, which, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, not the nicest fabric. But it is a nice dust bag to come with a fake Louis. Well, we'll give him credit for that. In her little bag that she let me borrow, she also had a couple other things that she had bought on Amazon. And one of them is the infamous Gucci belt. I'm not promoting buying designer or designer dupes. What you do with your money is your business. I just wanted to test out and see what some of these things are like. I have to say, I have seen the real belt in the store. And this is more of like a coppery color. I mean, it's close. But honestly, if I saw it, I would probably know it's a fake. On the real belts, the, the GG is actually quite a bit bigger. So, I mean, you know, I mean, that's probably splitting hairs. You can definitely tell the um, stitching is not Gucci stitching. That would be another dead giveaway that it's not a, a real belt. But I think overall, the quality of the belt is nice. I mean, she paid... $25 I believe and $25 $30 that's what you would expect to pay for a decent leather belt it is uh, genuine leather supposedly uh, that's what the ad said you know if you're a big Gucci fan and you just want something that has the GG you know go for it she loves it and the other thing that she let me borrow the Gucci replica bag obviously it's got a CG not a GG it does have the heart on the back which is on the original and it is a decently sized bag it doesn't feel cheap it actually feels like a pretty well made bag and if you look at the stitching throughout the stitching is much better on the purse than on the belt and we can take a look at that so I think if you're just wanting a nice handbag that kind of has that luxurious feel and you're on a budget uh, it might not be too bad. Now, she's only had this a month. She was honest with me and told me she's only used it a few times, but she really likes it. She enjoys it. I will say that the chain is very heavy. It does feel like a real bag. I have gone into Gucci just to look and touch and feel. <laughs> I mean, it does feel good, and it almost has that Chanel lambskin kind of soft leather feel. I like that too. Now the problem with that is, will it hold up? I really can't attest to that. I can say for $25, it seems like a very well built bag. So those are the things that she let me borrow just to kind of give you guys an idea. And I have the items that I purchased and I thought it'd be kind of fun to open them with you so you can see how they're packaged and you know, get a good first impression with me. So let me get this one open real quick. And the first thing that I pull out is what I believe to be the Gucci Mini B chain purse. So let me go ahead and get this opened. Okay, it seems to be packaged pretty well. I did only pay $25 for this, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. Well, it comes in a, its own little bag that you can use as a dust bag, which I think that's kind of cute. And it had this little styrofoam to protect the uh, medallion on the purse and at first glance I mean it has a little I don't know if you can see this but there's kind of a little dent in it right here from packaging or from shipping but other than that it looks 
pretty decent. It does come with another strap, which is probably the Gucci red and green strap. Oh no, I forgot this isn't Gucci. It comes with, it's yellow, red, and blue. Hmm, okay. And then it does have the chain and it's a much shorter chain than the other, which I believe is how this bag originally comes. They just put some stuffing in here, so I'll get rid of that so I can show you the inside of the bag. So it's just a brown leather. It has a zipper on one side and it has a little pocket on the other. And then it does have these magnetic snaps on each side, you know, to expand the bag out. And I do think all in all, it's a pretty cute bag. I would definitely wear it. I mean, I know it's a knockoff, but I mean, it's still a very cute bag. And I'm not disappointed at all. I mean, for $25, I mean, it feels nice. The stitching overall looks pretty good. For $25, I mean, that's pretty cute. So if you're into the whole Gucci B thing, Amazon does have you covered for $25 instead of, I think it's $3,800 for the original crazy. So the last thing in this bag that I had purchased, I believe this is the Hermes belt. Yep. And this is how it comes packaged. I'm kind of funny. I do like to see how things come packaged to know, you know, was it put together with love? Did they just throw it in a box? You know, how, how much was the item cared for? Together with the leather belt, it also has the Hermes buckle which that's pretty cute. I mean, it does look like the real ones. I looked at the real ones online before I ordered this just so I'd know how um, they stack up. So, but you know, it's a reversible belt. You can either wear it with the black threads or the, with the white threads showing. But the stitching is really nice. Looking overall at the stitching, this is done very well. I'll try and show you slowly so you can see for yourself how how they did and for $25 it's got the little Hermes H on it so it's cute I'm, I'm okay with that I think that you know you get what you pay for regardless of if it's designer inspired or not a lot of times that's just the way it goes so the last box that I have to open is this box and to be quite honest I can't even remember what designer thing is in this box even though it was Amazon Prime, I, I sat down with my girlfriend and we looked at so many things to decide what made the most sense of what to order. So let me get this open and I'll be right back. Okay, well in this box, we have a little tiny Chanel pen that has the number five on it. I'll go ahead and take this out of the plastic because it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see without the glare. But this is just supposed to be a Chanel number no. five pin. But I think it's cute. It's got lots of bling, so I can't complain. And this was $5.99. So for six dollars, yeah. It's it's shiny and sparkly, just like it it was described. And I think it'll be cute to put on a purse or put on a scarf. And the last thing, oh, the shoes. I ordered a pair of the Valentino replica shoes. I've seen a lot of different dupes, but this one, after looking at the Valentino website, was by far the closest dupe. And these are made by June and Love. Now, I know DSW sells a very similar pair, so if you have a DSW, you might try and look at theirs, and that way you can try them on. These were $49, which is kind of expensive for a dupe, but since I actually needed a pair of nude high heels for work, I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and buy these, that way I can share with you guys my experience with it, and know if, you know, if they're worth the $50 or not. They look very nice, and they look very well made. And I love the nude color. So I am going to go try them on, walk around for a few minutes. If you buy these shoes, I would highly recommend 
taking sandpaper to the soles where the toes are because they were so slippery. I didn't fall, but I mean, they were slipping and sliding all over my laminate floors. So that's a hazard. <laughs> the other thing is, I think I underestimated this high of a heel to where to work. I think I'm going to keep them. I do like them. They don't squish your toes, which that's good because typically shoes do that to me. I'm a little bit wider than like the average B um, for a, a shoe size. So that was a huge plus. Usually these types of shoes squish my toes, but the way they've designed these shoes is your toes actually end up way back here. So there's plenty of room for the little toes. But I think to try and wear this to work would probably not be a good idea being on my feet for six, eight hours. But I think I'm gonna love wearing these out on a Friday or Saturday night, that's for sure. And uh, they are super cute. So I would recommend them, but not for work, only for play, going out to dinner, going to a movie. Um, I think they'd look fantastic with a pair of jeans and a cute shirt or just a nice dress like what I'm wearing right now or, you know, to go to work. But these are not walking around the town shoes. Just warning you, not for that. I definitely give a thumbs up on the two purses, the two Gucci purses. They were pretty cute. Um, are they the original? Do they look like the original? Hmm, sort of, um, at a glance. But once again, when you have a C and then a G, and my girlfriend didn't even notice it. I noticed it right away. She never even noticed that. But it's, it, it's a very nice bag. I think that they are made very well. So that's a plus. The two belts for $25, $29, um, the Hermes and the Gucci belt, those are uh, a good buy, I think. The shoes, definitely, just you gotta wear them on the right occasion. Uh, the Chanel pin, it's adorable. It was $6. I'm super happy with it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, I love, but I love it. So that's a home run. At a glance, when she handed me both bags, I couldn't tell the difference on the two Louis Vuitton number full bags. They weigh about the same. The texture is about the same. I would almost guess that they might be made in the same factory even, just because the similarities. You know, obviously there are, are slight differences, but I think for $100, if you're wanting a $2,000 bag and you only want to spend $100, one thing she did want me to tell you guys, on the Louis Vuitton bag, when she got that, it comes directly from, I think, Thailand. She said that it had the worst smell, like it smelled kind of chemically, chemically or something. So she put hers outside on her patio and let it air out for about a week. And it has no odor now. She's had it a couple months. So just wanted to also tell you that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've enjoyed taking a quick peek at all these things. I think most of them, you know, you can't go wrong. They're, they're pretty decent quality. I wouldn't say any of them were a flat out no, don't buy. It really is just your preference. If you like that designer dupe, you'd rather save for the real thing. You know, it's all up to you guys. And I will leave all the links for all the products down below if you want to check them out. And I'm curious, leave in the comments below which items you liked best. And between the Hermes belt and the B purse, which one you would like. Because I'm thinking I might put one of them in a giveaway for next month. And I'm just kind of curious to see which one you guys would enjoy more. So thanks for watching and have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.